In order to study stem cells in class, we will use planaria, which are tiny freshwater flatworms of the phylum platyhelminthes. Planaria have the ability to direct their stem cells to regenerate lost tissues. A single worm can be cut into 279 pieces, and each piece will regrow into a complete worm. We will make several different cuts in class and look at our planarians the next week to see how much tissue has been regenerated. In this activity, you will need a petri dish, a marker, spring water, planaria, detain, a scalpel, and a small paintbrush. Write your initials, the date, and time of day you have class on the lid of your petri dish. Fill your petri dish with the spring water. Spring water must be used. Neither tap water nor deionized water can be used as they cannot support planarian life. If your worm is relatively lively, you can add a few drops of detain to help slow it down so that you can get a clean cut. Detain does not harm the planaria, but makes it difficult for the planaria to move efficiently. Your TA will tell you where to cut your planaria in class. For the purposes of this video, we will make a variety of cuts. We will cut the planaria in half, in quarter, and in three-quarter sections from the eye spots. In addition, we will make cuts halfway between the eye spots about one-sixth of the length of the body. Take your scalpel and cut into your planaria. Make sure to hold the scalpel in place for at least six seconds in order to prevent the cut from resealing. Some of the cuts which you perform will not result in two severed pieces of planaria, and these can reseal quickly if you do not hold the blade in place for at least six seconds. Cover the petri dish and place in a cool dark place such as a drawer until the next time you meet for class. The next time you look at your planaria, you will be able to tell the difference between the new growth and the old tissue based on color. When planaria regenerate, it takes time for pigment to develop in the new tissue. The new portions of the body are easily identified as they will be clear compared to the black tissue of the rest of the body. As more time passes, the planaria will completely regenerate their bodies becoming whole. In the instance where the cuts did not sever the planaria into two separate pieces, the worm may have duplicate body parts attached to the body, as seen in the case where the cut was made between the two eye spots. The planaria consume egg yolks and liver. For the purpose of this activity, we will use liver as a food source. Materials required for successful feeding include a new labeled petri dish, spring water, liver, a paintbrush or pipette, and a marker. Write your initials, day, and time of class on the lid of the new petri dish. Fill partially with spring water and set aside. Place the liver fragments into the petri dish containing the planaria. The liver will follow the water, so after feeding, the planaria will need to be transferred to a clean, prepped petri dish. Allow two to three hours for feeding. During this time, place the planaria back into a cool, dark area, such as a drawer. Remove the remaining liver and then transfer the planaria to the clean, prepped petri dish using a paintbrush or a clean pipette. Cover with the new labeled petri lid and return the planaria to a dark, cool area. The planaria can be fed two to three times per week, although they are able to survive for three months without feeding. 